Need a break? How about a Forest Fast Break? Brought to you by forestinfo.org. Today's topic, carbon capture. Do you use a car, turn on the lights, or use a microwave? Here's a simple one. Do you breathe? <gasps> Most of us do. Doing ordinary things every day creates loads of carbon dioxide, otherwise known as CO2. In small batches, it isn't that big of a deal. But together, all that carbon dioxide is accumulating in our atmosphere, trapping in heat and radiation, and contributing to global climate change. And the level of carbon dioxide we create is rising every single year. Is there anything that can help? Forests to the rescue! Forests absorb carbon dioxide from the air like a giant sponge. And what's great is that trees hold on to the carbon for a really, really long time. People who like science call this carbon sequestration. Trees not only capture the carbon, they keep it. The trees and plants use carbon to grow bigger and stronger, releasing oxygen in the process. Even after a tree is made into things, like houses, furniture, or even skateboards, the wood holds on to that carbon as long as it's still wood. In fact, a 2x4 can be up to 50% carbon. Pretty cool. So how can we help forests to help the atmosphere? First, we need to keep forest land as forests. Once a forest becomes a parking lot, its superpowers are gone. Second, we need to plant and grow all the forests we can. Replanting after harvest, or even planting a forest where there wasn't one, helps out big time. And finally, choose wood products for buildings and furniture. Wood is renewable and requires less water and energy and way less fossil fuels to manufacture than steel, plastic, or concrete. And wood products store carbon for the rest of their useful lives. And that's the story on carbon capture. Check out more Forest Fast Breaks or visit forestinfo.org. Yay, forests!